Now more on the incredible ordeal of J.C. Dugard, who was kidnapped at age 11 and held for 18 years. Now, as she tries to re-enter her former life, she's getting words of advice from a young man who can understand her turmoil better than most. NBC's Lee Cowan has more. Even though she's been reunited with her family and is said to be doing well, the ordeal J.C. Dugard endured in this backyard for 18 long years will undoubtedly haunt her forever. But those who share this nightmare say that they are wounds that can heal. You might remember Sean Hornbeck, a Missouri boy kidnapped back in 2002 and forced to live with his captor for more than four years. In an interview with People magazine, Hornbeck predicts that Dugart will survive, just like he did. You have to keep looking toward the future, he told the magazine, and telling yourself that it's going to be better than your past. Sean's parents told today that he's proof that finding a normal life after such torment is possible. He's just like any other 18-year-old kid in the Midwest. You would never know that he'd been through the experience he has if you didn't know personally what he had been through. Re-entry, however, is not easy. Sean says he felt guilty at first that he didn't try to escape his kidnapper. And he believes that J.C. is probably going through the same thing. You're brainwashed. It's as simple as that, he explained. Sean's mother says it's crucial that those in J.C.'s life understand that guilt. Constantly reassure her and them children that, you know, none of this was their fault, that you still love them, that they're not damaged good. And from the sounds of it, that's exactly what's happening. Not only have we laughed and cried together, but we've spent time sitting quietly, taking pleasure in each other's company. The difference, of course, between these two cases is that J.C.'s imprisonment lasted far longer than Sean's. And police say she was forced to bear two children to her alleged captor and raise them herself. Philip Garrido, the man accused of it all, is expected back in court with his wife again next week. While somewhere, J.C. and her two daughters try to adjust to the brightness of their new lives after spending so much of their old ones in the dark. For today, Lee Cowan, NBC News, Los Angeles.